We found a guy. Maybe he's the best conspiracy theorist on TikTok. He's kind of like if like he's like a alternate timeline Jakey. Chucky Bats. That's a cool name. Join me beyond the ice wall. Which will make a lot of sense to you very soon. Or no sense. If you've ever wondered where Asgard is, well, apparently this is where it is. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> now, I found this map when I was, you know, wandering around on the internet. And it's a flat earther map. It shows earth in the middle. So he, it's like it could be from a video game. He talks about this, like, questing. <laughs> I, I found was this wandering in around the internet. And I'm like, yeah, well, okay. Well, then what makes the map credible at all. He, well, he went up to a tower and then surveyed it and it unlocked a portion of the map. It the cleared f- some of the m- fog of war. On the Flat Earth map, there's the Ocean of Yam. There's so many places that I've never heard of. Thoth. Oh. Uh, I, these are places I thought were fantasy lands. These are um, Norse, I believe, right? Oh, okay. I don't know Norse mythology especially well, but I was under the impression the realms weren't like... <laughs> Just countries. <laughs> I thought you got in like a big tree and teleported to a new one. It's weird to me that for some reason a flat earth has more stuff than yeah. a spherical earth. Well, that's because you well, know. Because it's like, because if you flatten it down, there's more surface area. Duh. All right, let's play. And it's a flat earther map. It shows earth in the middle. And then there's Antarctica, which is supposed to be a giant ice ring. And apparently there's holes in it where you can sail through and go to all these other continents. That's uh, one of the alien movies. <laughs> that's, that's, that, there's like an old uh, creepypasta about an arcade game called Polybius yeah. that like took took over people's lives but like wasn't actually real and didn't exist. You can't stop playing it and it knows your name. And yeah. Whatever. I thought it was pretty cool. It was pretty interesting. Now right here is apparently leaked footage of Beyond the Ice Wall. <laughs> Come leaked on. footage? No, oh, it's just a fo- it's leaked. leaked footage? Apparently it's leaked footage. All right. <laughs> you know, I was on Etsy yesterday. I was buying some resources for D&D campaign, and I thought <laughs> that when I downloaded an image of Faerun, when I was scrolling through uh, the taverned map of Waterdeep, yeah. I thought that was, you know, from D&D. Right, that's but actually, it's actually from beyond the wall. Los Feliz. <laughs> so, well, because there's an ice wall around Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's only a few places you can sail through, but when you do, you Frog reveal. down up over Pasadena. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You actually can get through to the Underdark. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, so we're on the other side. Yeah. And we just got nothing. Well, that is a very thin wall. That's a. I mean, I can see it. You could, I mean, we, I feel like a balloon could, you know, very easily make it over. The Great Wall of China is like pretty much that big. And also, we never went buildings. to space, so you couldn't really see this from space because all of the pictures from space are lies. We bumped off the ice ceiling. You know up there? You know what there is up there? Angels. Oh, crazy shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, what that be? there's a big boom above us. But that's what thunder is. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing a Thoth or Polybius. <laughs> and it shows these two guys who apparently got in a boat and sailed all the way to Antarctica to see if there's new land. Can you do that? Can you just sail from to where? Antarctica? It, it seems like a fishing vessel. Yeah, like from a small boat. The water looks a little bit different than anything we've ever seen before. It looks kind of thick. <laughs> I've had anything you've ever seen before. The water looks a little bit different it's than anything wet. we've ever seen before. It's kind of like a wet special type of water. <laughs> and as if it were melted glass. And I haven't figured out a reason or a scientific reason for why this is the case. Man, I just gotta say, almost everything that's melted sort of looks like water. That's kind of what being melted is. That's It's so close. It's also funny that he says, I haven't found a scientific explanation. You're not a scientist. Even if you could find a scientific explanation, would you know what it <laughs> meant? <laughs> yeah, get back to surfing. Seek seek answers on the new quest. The brother. problem with this stuff is that, like, if anything is complicated, then someone's like, well, it must have a simple explanation, but not everything does. That's why we've had thousands of years of of physicists trying to understand or like prove models that were created hundreds of years ago. And sometimes the language is simple, but like that's because all the nuance was done behind the scenes. It got boiled down into a term, which is nice. It's useful for the layman, right? Like, I don't know the answer for this, but I guarantee you can say it in one line, probably. Yeah. I don't know, it's the ice, isn't it? I could have sworn the earth wasn't solid, but whatever. I've recently come into contact with another person who says that they've been beyond the ice wall to the continent of Patatia. Okay, real quick, 
I've come into contact. You got a DM. Stop making it sound so crazy. <laughs> I'm coming to contact. Coming to my contact. Research. You weren't here listening for radio signals. I've been tuning my my ham radio to different signals, <laughs> trying to intercept calls from beyond the wall. Now this new guy said that he went through the Leviathan's Gate through a submarine and visited this continent, which had a race of humanoid, dog-headed beings. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Is that a photo? There was even one named Saint Christopher, whom only according to legend was redeemed by Jesus Christ. But this is getting off top. <laughs> <laughs> That's close. Here's the weird part. I sent this long document that has all the saved messages from this other guy I spoke to in August. The messages are Krakens, huge unknown species. It's bad enough if we bust into some dragons along the way, but the sea monsters would destroy us. Dragons aren't aggressive unless you attack them first. Charlie Griffin, did you tell me you've flown there already? Witcher, yeah, five, six times. Charlie Griffin, but you're not gonna show me any photos. I heard something, I found a guy, and he said this, and I'm just gonna take that as fact. I found this on the internet. It's AI like photos are gonna break this man's brain. He's gonna spend the next five years going, I've seen photographic evidence of Shrek <laughs> from 1500s. Now he said that there are dragons and krakens like we have heard before, and that he only went to a few mostly abandoned cities that only had a few people on it. <laughs> Navigating this, like he's using old like forms of transport. It's gonna take for freaking ever to travel this much. These are also like, alone. You travel to all these cities. So South America there is on the you know the west. That makes sense. And then that is about the size of each of these islands. We are trying to show city. right now. We're yeah, it's not a city. We're basically saying like, oh, these we just live inside of a little snow globe, <laughs> and we don't even know that there's so much more beyond us. Isn't he basically? He's saying there's like two additional, you know, Wall Maria or whatever, Attack on Titan style rings, meaning yeah. that like the entire what we think is Earth and the amount of time it takes to travel that, <laughs> you would have to triple that or quadruple that. Right. And he's like, by himself. What? Five or six times? Five or six times. That's which would take, by the way, the navigators of uh, the times of yore that are like using all this <laughs> technology are spending their entire lives <laughs> just to like get a fraction of this distance. This man's like bouncing back and forth. Like he's the fucking, he's a Boeing 747. Also, how far along do you think this man is in his Jedi training? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah was his Padawan braid? He said he is not going back because it is too dangerous and he saw one of his crewmates die to a disease that nobody knew what it was. Okay, well, were there any doctors there? Because, like, <laughs> that I'm not going to know what most diseases are sight on... <laughs> Like it doesn't, you it don't look. It was dysentery. Yeah, it could have yeah. been anything. Why'd they even go? Like, it seems like they just went and they were like, I don't know, something's going on. <laughs> Showing an ape that appears to have the ability to speak. So he's just skipping past the fact that this is from the 1968 movie, The Planet of the Apes. In many of the depictions, the apes are also shown to be walking on both feet and appear more humanoid, which might mean that they are a whole different species than the apes that we have today. Oh, yeah, over the thousand years. Perhaps the truth really is put in plain sight. <laughs> it's just a poster of Planet of the Apes! Was a Planet of the Apes. And after seeing that dark web video, it got me thinking about this one guy who claims that he's gone past the ice wall. This guy's obsessed with the ice wall. The ice wall, he's yeah, always connected dude. back to the ice wall. That's the like little kid thing. While he was on his way to Patatia, he stopped there and he saw what looked to be like savage people, he said, fur all over them. But he got out of there quickly because it was dangerous. I went to San Diego and there was a place where there's animals living beside humans. <laughs> and for $15.99, you're allowed to go inside and see them. Look at the goats. <laughs> Look at the billy goats as children he, he live goes. side by side with them, petting them constantly. He, he like literally goes to a petting zoo and he thinks, I, I left Midgard. <laughs> Yeah. I saw a dog with a hat. He was their king. <laughs> Some say that they were the royalty of the past. 